Greetings, this is Jim Lindsay. This is a CIS briefing about the Flash project. And I'm on the Blackboard site. I'm on the syllabus quiz, papers, and homework page. And you guys can't see it yet, but uh, you'll be able to see this Flash folder, this Flash project folder, starting on the 20th. So I'm going to make it available for two weeks. Um, when you click on that, that Flash project folder, it opens up to what you see right here. And there's the there are, there are three things here. There's a link that you'll use to complete, you'll use to submit your completed work. You only use that once, you just log in there and you submit your completed work. Other than that, you're going to work from either the Northern Group folder or the Southern Group folder. Super, super important, pay attention to this please. Uh, I have a, assigned you to a group, look for your last name, you know, on uh, this page here, find out whether you're Northern Group or Southern Group. If you do the wrong assignment, then you don't get any points. So just pay attention because if you're in the Southern Group and then you do the Northern Group homework, you're not going to get any points. You have to do the, the appropriate work. So look and see where you are assigned. Uh, and what you do is you then open that folder and inside of the folder, we'll use the Northern Group as an, ex as an example. The, the, the contents of these two folders are very similar, but they're different. Um, you'll see that there is an instruction set. There's the instructions right there. That's a Word document. You also have uh, one Visio file, and you have two PDF documents. So you have one Word document, which is the instructions, one Visio file, which you will use uh, to, you'll modify and use as part of your homework assignment, and then two PDF documents which give you um, a, a, a sample or a screenshot of what a finished product is supposed to look like. So that's what's inside of the Northern Group folder or the Southern Group folder. In the Southern Group folder, you, you have you know, similar contents. You have um, you know, different stuff that you're going to make because it's two different groups. You're going to make two different uh, sets of documents. Now, this assignment is due uh, at... 11.59 p.m. on Sunday, July the 3rd. Make sure you get it turned in on time at 11.59 p.m. on July 3rd. This whole folder is just going to disappear. And at that point, you can't turn it in anymore. So make sure you get this done before the due date and you get it submitted. Uh, you know, If you're trying to still turn it in at 11.56, you're running a chance because um, once the thing disappears, then you lose that ability to actually submit. So uh, work on this in advance, please. Um, you're watching this tutorial video already, so good job on that. Um, we've already talked about this. Basically, you have to be in the correct group. You know, make sure you find the correct folder. And I think other than that, uh, we should be good. For this assignment, what I want you to do, I want you to create three different drawings. I want you to make a timeline. I want you to make a flow chart, specifically a cross-functional flow chart, and I want you to make a map. And so a flow chart, a timeline, and a map. Let's look at the instructions. I'm going to use the uh, the northern group as the for the for the example. Um, so I'm going to go to this northern group folder, and I'll open up this instruction file. Again, this is a word document. I recommend that you print this thing out in order to work on it. While you work on it, you'll have a, a printed copy. And what you'll see here as you read through this, you know, print it out, read it carefully. And then contact me if you have questions. Again, you know, understand what you're supposed to do. You have a very clear understanding of what you're supposed to do so you don't um, make a mistake. Um, you can see there are a few steps in here. Basically, you start by downloading files. You download those files that I showed you a moment ago. And with those files, you're going to modify one, the, the Visio file, and then you'll have the other two as examples, which show you what some stuff is supposed to look like. Your timeline is supposed to uh, include these events. You'll see that there are there are two days in this timeline, March 30th and March 31st from 1981, and these are the events that occurred when uh, Ronald Reagan was um, when when uh, John Hinckley tried to assassinate Ronald Reagan. Um, I remember being in grade school and they pulled everybody into like the libraries and stuff like that and they turned the TVs on it. And so this is something I'm sure you guys have never uh, heard about or, or seen, but um, this is 
you know a, a historical event in American history that is easy to timeline. You'll see that this timeline includes an expanded timeline. Um, you'll see it starts at 2 p.m. on the 30th and it's supposed to end at 7 a.m. on the 31st. And you want an expanded timeline from 2.30 on the 30th uh, until 3.40. And the reason for that is that during this period of time there's you know a whole lot of events that took place. You know, from the from the moment the shot rang out until uh, his surgery began. There were, you know, very quickly these things occurred. You know, the Secret Service was pushing him into, you know, his car. They were getting to the hospital. They were starting the surgery, all that sort of good stuff. And so this is what I'd like for you to timeline. And again, um, the scale here is hours. And that's to challenge you to, um, you know, you can make the scale in a timeline be years, months, weeks, days, hours, seconds, and so I want you to, to experiment with that so that the, the scale here should be hours. So if you have questions about that, let me know. That's your first drawing. Um, once you're done with that and you do these things, you put the background on it, a title on it, and so on. You save it. You're supposed to name it a specific thing. You're supposed to name it your name, whatever your name is, uh, and then timeline. Okay, so that's what uh, that pro that's what that portion is. The second thing you make is this map. And if you've watched the map tutorial, then that should look really familiar. You go, oh, okay, I, I know what to do. And so um, there is a there's a tutorial for each one of these different types of drawings back in the lessons folder that you should have consumed or watched at this point. And so you should be able to look at these instructions and go, okay, I can I can do that. Um, the map that you want to make for in the, for the northern group is going to look like this. The screen, the, the screenshot, the PDF of this, which gives you a blown up view of what that looks like, is this. I'm going to go back to Blackboard. And, and again, I'm using the, the Northern Group as an example. So those of you in the Southern Group, you have a different looking picture that you'll use. But the people in the Northern Group, you'll click on this screenshot, Northern Map. And there you go. You can zoom in. You've got zooming and, and uh, the panning ability. So you can see what this, this is what you should make. And I want it to look exactly like that. And you have... Uh, you're going to have a week's worth of time to, to uh, you know, the, the flash module is a week long. And this is actually going to be available for two weeks. You know, the preceding week, it's also going to be available. So uh, you have plenty of time to look at this and experiment and find all the, the colors and the fonts and all that sort of stuff to make it look just like this. And so I want you to make this for me. Make sure that in the lower right corner of the drawing, you're going to have a block where your name is. And that's included in the instructions. So that's the map portion of it. Uh, the last drawing you make is a cross-functional flowchart. For the people in the northern group, you're going to create one for the Hunger Games. Uh, what does that look like? I'm going to go back to the screenshots here, available on Blackboard. And there is the, there's the screenshot of what you were supposed to make. This is a cross-functional flowchart. Again, in a lesson over... Um, the chapter with, with, with flowcharts, we covered all of the good, you know, how to do this. And so I want you to make that. Um, and you can zoom in there. You can see all the details. These are characters in the, uh, the book, The Hunger Games. And you, you've probably seen the movies or, or read the books or at least heard of them. In the southern group, you're going to be working with the Game of Thrones characters, uh, the Game of Thrones characters. And so try to tried to provide you with something to be sort of fun to work with. But um, as you look at the instructions, it says, hey, create a cross-functional flowchart. So with this one, you're starting from scratch. You're going to make a cross-functional flowchart. You're going to name it, whatever your name is, swimlane.vsdx, uh, because it's a swimlane diagram. And then you're going to, to uh, you know make what you just saw as the, the screenshot of. I want you to use the sequence theme for that. And if you use the sequence theme and you put that center gradient on it, as I instruct you to right here, your drawing will look exactly like my drawing. And that's what I'm looking for. All right. Now also make sure in the screenshot you have uh, you know, your name in here. So uh, that's, that's what I want you to do. Uh, you have until 11.59 p.m. on July the 3rd to complete this, this project. If you have questions, ask me those questions and make sure you do that, you know, 
before the deadline, you know, preferably what you know before close of business on Friday before the deadline. Um, and that's that's what I have for you. So thanks for your time and attention. Have a good day.